Cheetah, cheetah, raise your hand for Cheetah. Raise your hand for Cheetah. <laughs> okay, so we've got one, two, three for Cheetah. Come on now. How many? Okay, raise your hand for Owl. Owl. One, two, three, four, five, well, four. I guess Owl wins. The one. How many of you worked with it before? No one? I've tried it out one time, but I didn't work with it. I just put the water in. <laughs> okay, so the thing about this paint is that it, it's water mixable, it's not water soluble. So the reason I started doing the finger painting in the first place is because it's a pain in the neck to clean the brushes with this stuff. Like regular oil, you know, you have the turf. With this, you need soap and water to wash it off. You can't, so you can't like paint with the brush with this paint and then rinse it in water. It will not rinse out. It'll, you can thin it, but that's it. So you need soap and water. So if you're using brushes with this, you're going to go through a million brushes. I hate you know, washing brushes. Just for so, um, Yeah. How quick does it dry? Is it more it like an oil or acrylic? It's in between. It's much slower than acrylic, but much faster than oil. Um, the white and the yellow, the, any color that has like white mixed in it will take longer to dry. The darker colors will dry faster. Um, so maybe like a day or two. If you use really thick white, it might take like a week for that part okay. to dry, but the others will dry, you know, a day or two. So not like weeks, like regular oil. Um, you don't want to use water with this technique if you don't have to. I mean, unless your paint is like really thick coming out of the tube and you just can't spread it, but you want to use as little water as possible because because it doesn't like blend, it just kind of thins it a little. It'll just get drippy and runny, and it takes much longer to dry. So with this, we kind of want the thickness. So I use, I just put tin foil on. I mean, I use old cookie sheets as my palette, because you know, then I can just throw the tin foil away. I don't like to clean it. So and these, you know, any kind of any kind of disposable gloves that you can just throw away are the best. I will just kind of wash my hands off with it, or just wipe it with a paper towel so I don't have to go through 40 million pairs of gloves, but and sometimes I'll like wear right a hole right in the finger of the glove. So, okay, so we did the, I did the black canvas so we don't have this much ground to cover in, in this short amount of time. So if we're going to be working from, we're going to do this owl. Okay, so I don't do any preliminary drawing when I'm doing this, especially, you know, you can always just go over with the oil and readjust as you need to. So I'm just going to take maybe a little bit of, just a little bit of white. Did so. you want to use chalk for a preliminary drawing or that kind of Not necessarily. You can do it if you want. I just usually don't bother. I just go right at it. So. You're just going to take a little bit on your finger and kind of do your initial drawing of where you want your palette. So how, how much did you squeeze out on your palette? So show us I, that. I start with just, you know, you're, you're going to add more. I don't know what colors I want, so I just did a little bit. So as you get going and you know what colors you're going to end up using, you can squeeze out a little bit more. Okay. Um, I don't put it on like super thick, like with the palette knife. I kind of spread it around, also because, you know, I'm cheap and it's just expensive to be putting an entire tube of this stuff every time you turn around. But you do end up using more, especially on the dark colors, you're going to end up using more of the light paint. Okay. Well, thank you. So I just have a little bit here, and I'm going to say I want my owl like right in here. So if I have a completely wrong proportion to begin with, that's fine.
Red and blue to make kind of a purpley color and then mix a little bit of yellow in until you get kind of this burnt sienna looking challenge. So are you preserving the canvas for the eyes? Um, a little bit. I'm not really worried about it. I'll go back and put more paint. I'm doing, I'm preserving it more to set up the proportion okay. right now so okay. I can kind of see where I'm going with okay. it. And if I decide later that I've left the hole in the wrong place, just paint over it. Okay. So Great. At this point, we're still kind of blocking it in. Yeah. Yeah, you get my Yep. 
No, it doesn't suck because you're not using the turf. Mm -hmm. But does the duo mix well with the other? I mean, do you use both? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, any of the any of the water mixable ones will work.